Well, hi everybody, this is your stay at home grandma, and I'm making my second junk journal cover. The first cover, I'll show it to you after. But I started it, I'm doing the inside now. And this is how I, I did it, the inside, and it's all Mod Podge. And then I decided to come in, come on and show you what I was doing. I'll show you my first junk journal cover. And then, of course, I'm going to put stuff in it. I just wanted to make a few covers. The first one I took, and I'll, I'll show you, and I did it, and I, I took a book, and I took a took the, the, the front part of the book out. The second one, I was looking at somebody, I forgot who it was, and they were cutting out cardboard, and I said, Jesus, I get so much mail, you know, with, with boxes and things like that, although I do probably send out a lot of boxes as well, but I had keep boxes, a few. And I decided the smaller ones that I don't keep, I'll just cut up and use them for the journals. So this is what I did. And um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the inside and how it folds actually. Really quite nice. And it came out really good. I used tissue paper for this one. And like I said, I'll get the other one before I close and let you see that one. So I used tissue paper for this one. And I much punched all of this as well. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. I've been doing a bunch of artwork. And why I didn't really come on, I was just doing it, watching some other people do some things. You know, I have to have that time when I watch you as well. So I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So this is the first piece that's done. This is the inside of it. Now the inside will turn like this and like this. I can't close it all the way, but it'll turn like this and this. So it will be a smaller journal, but a journal nonetheless. But What I'm liking, and I'm ripping the paper because look at this M. Because it looks funky. It looks really funky when it dries. Now, some people put the paper down and then, but I like to modge podge the first part of the paper and then put it down. That's just me. I'm an old modge podger from way back, so. In fact, before we had modge podge, we actually made our, our own type of um, decoupage glue. So. In fact, I think I'll do a tutorial on that and a couple of other things because we made clay as well. So, anyway. Doing this, like in every minute of it. So, how's everybody's evening going? Can't believe it, it's almost the middle of January already. Just realized that tomorrow is the 16th of January, and that is the anniversary of my father's death. 
and he's been dead for, I don't know, he died when I was eight. I'll be 70 this March, so you do the math. I ain't going to do it right now. But I had to figure it out one day, but I don't remember what it was. But um, I don't know. I still think about him all the time. And day goes by that I don't think about him or my mother. They were really good people. But life goes on. And I hope that he is proud of what I became and what I'm becoming now. This is my new life now. And he always used to say, you make the most out of things. That's what he used to tell me. So that's my job and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I got two down. Okay. I cut this after it dries, anything that's hung over. So now I'm going to take a little piece of this. Actually, I don't really have to, but I'm going to because some of the top part is not covered over. So actually, when you put the Mod Podge on after it dries, and I'll show you the back in a minute. I'll do this one and then I'll show you the back. It blends in quite well together. The thing that's not going to blend in well or whatever, but it does blend in well together. I was really shocked. I washed my hair earlier today, so it's still wet, but. So I have to put my towel back on it. But I don't use a hair dryer on my hair. So here's the back again, if you can see it. See how it all blended in? It blended in quite well with that Mod Podge. Just the one piece, the back kind of stands out and says, um, hello. Yeah, it stands out, but it, um, what I want to say is it, um, has a little bit of the, the lettering on it because I painted it but it's still it's still um, so through so having said that I'll take care of that later so anyway I'm having my first fundraiser tomorrow and it like I said it's five dollars and my my Facebook page it's up I'll probably put it up again but um you don't you get something you don't just donate five dollars okay I don't play that I don't even like that myself so you come away with something that you want and I might put it up tomorrow because that way if you want it before I come on because it's from 8 to 9 tomorrow night so if you want it before I come on then you definitely can get it and go on about your business but um I'm doing it because we're having that cooking show and we're going to dedicate dedicate all of our not all of our proceeds. I'm not gonna say that we're gonna do that. We're gonna to dedicate some of our proceeds to I don't know, we she Kathy went to where Tent City was and I guess because it's been so cold they found places for them to stay. Um I didn't even know it was over there, but it was over by Home Depot where we live. 
and um, behind Home Depot in the woods, and there were really intense woods back there. And I always knew there were woods back there, but I just never ventured out to see what was back there. But I guess Kathy did or something, or somebody told her, but she said she went over there, and there was only one tent. So I think what we're going to do is um, take the food over to, when we get finished cooking, take some of the food over to the shelter, or there is a, but I don't think we can do that over here. There is a um, a place, a senior center over here. There's a couple of senior centers on the on the Governor Bacon grounds where I used to be the pastor of the church over there. I don't know what they do. I'll find out tomorrow and see if, you know, if they'll take some food or whatever. So. But we'll, we'll, we will get rid of the food because we won't eat it. We will have guests, so they will eat there when we have guests. But, you know, our mission is to, there's this piece right here. Our mission is to um, also help, you know, the hungry. So. Now I'm going to get this green paper. See that? Put that. I think I'll put that right here. And I'll let that dry. Come back and I don't know how I'm gonna put the paper in yet. I've thought of several different ways. I just haven't done it yet. They're actually fun to do. I didn't think they would be, but then I said, well, I'll try one because it looked like it was fun. And I'm actually really enjoying it. See, that's why I like to put my Mod Podge on before I do it, because it seems to me that it, to me, okay, just to me, that it smooths down quite a bit, as opposed to painting it on. It doesn't, to me, that that's just to me. And I've done decoupage for quite some time on different things, so. So, you know, having said that,
So I'm, I'm liking this. It's almost finished for tonight. Like I said, I'll show you the other one. I have fun with that one. That was my first one. So I think I'm going to keep that one. The rest of them, I don't know what I'm going to do. Working on a lot of things. Tonight, but I was working on mostly this and I'll show you when I get finished with this one. Because this one's almost done. Actually, what's good about this for me is it helps me think things through. You know that that I had a, a stroke, so you know, and I'm not ashamed of it. Maybe other people are, but I'm not. You know, and I'm not ashamed to tell anybody because a lot of people that actually come to my channel are recovering from illnesses. So it's good for you to know that the artwork helps to keep you focused and helps you thinking things through. So, and that's good for me. It's always been good. Even when I was a kid, I could pick up a paintbrush and do something in. Like I said, the only reason why I didn't continue to major in art was because I got bit by the psychology bug. And once you get bit by that bug, it's hard for you to well, it was hard for me to say no to it. I was intrigued by went on what went on in people's minds, but I did not. Well, I did. I worked in a rehab, and I did pursue working with adults. But I liked working with children more because their minds are more functional, actually. Um, and what I mean by that is that their minds are, are developed more in a, in a very infantile type of way. But yet, you know, I figured that if you help them while they're young and deal with them while they're young and their problems, because everybody has them. I know when I was eight years old, I think to really, the, the truth of the matter is when I was eight years old, my father died. I think I told you that. And I don't think... Well, I mean, I know for a fact that there was nobody to talk to talk about it to or anything. And because of that, you know, I kept a lot of stuff in for a very, very long time until I went to college and until I started studying psychology. And I realized that not only not having my father, but actually finding him dead. OK. Long story, won't go into it, but, I, you know. God took my bath and everything because he died at home and um, he had cancer. So, you know, everybody knew he was going to die but me. And finding him dead and, you know, like getting up in his arms and asking him to wake up and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I guess stayed with me and will always stay with me, but I was able to deal with it a little bit more once I got the kind of counseling and I wasn't in, until I was an adult that I got counseling. And, you know, grief counseling and all that, because they didn't have the, well, at least I didn't know that they had those kinds of things. So, you know, I was not a hurt child. I, I, I didn't, I don't know why, but I didn't, let, I let it bother me, and then somehow or other, in the back of my mind, it was there, but I buried it for quite a long time. And I wasn't angry or anything, thank God. But, you know, and I wasn't antisocial either, but I wasn't up the social butterfly. 
that I ever made. So, no, yeah. I, um, I did what I had to do. You know, I went to school. I worked. I got married. All that. But, like I said, it wasn't until It wasn't until I was in college that I realized when I, that um, what was bothering me. So, you know, people wear all kinds of masks and live through all kinds of things, but that doesn't mean that they're not hurt. And a lot of people who are angry are angry because they have unresolved issues. I think all of, all of you know that. So, nothing. There's not anything I'm not telling you. And even people that have pretty good childhoods. I mean, my childhood was good with my mother and stuff. She was really wonderful. But, you know, I, I always wonder, especially, not so much now, but when I was younger, what it would have been like had my father lived. You know, what would he have tolerated from me? What he, wouldn't he put up with because, you know, I was little then and wasn't much I was doing. You know, it wasn't much I did I actually did when I was a teenager either because my mother would have chopped my head off. Didn't take much foolishness. At all. Not at all. Because my mother also raised boys too, so you had to be really strong. And she put us all through school. One of my brothers went in the Navy. He's dead now. My other brother became a professor in a college and a jiu-jitsu instructor. My other brother became a beautician. And um, my other brother's a lawyer, my living brother. My other three brothers are dead. And they really weren't my brothers. They were her nephews. However, she raised them like they were my brothers. And then she also put two nieces through college. So one went to nursing school and one went to be a um, physical therapist. So, and that's what was, what was discussed at the dinner table was, what did you do at school today? You know, it wasn't, uh, um, it was just, what did you do at school? How are you doing at school? Did you do your homework? Let me see it. All that. And that's what was discussed at my table when I had the kids growing up. And I think that's why my grandchildren are doing really, really good because they are expected to do good. And because that's all discussed with them, what's happening at school, you know, they're very involved in other things, other extra activities at school. But, you know, some kids, mothers and fathers are not because of a lot of circumstances. And sometimes the mother is just really busy just trying to support them. So, you know, I mean, like my two grandchildren, um, not the great-grandchildren, but the two older grandchildren, their father also died of cancer. So, you know, it's good that they live around the corner from me and they actually live in the house with me for a while. Okay, so now I have a couple more pieces to tear off and then pretty much I'm done. So I'm going to go with A little pink right here because it's like a it's like I'll show you when I get finished with this 
like this this um pink hot pink kind of and then it comes like it matches the um the, the decoration of the um the floral decoration so it's like a, a a color how do you say it it's it's like um a solid color and then a floral color i think that's how you say it how i want to say it i'll show it to you though after i get finished i have a couple of my little little pieces little strips to do this little piece right here so see what I mean it's this color here this floral color and then the solid color And then there's a softer pink. And then that's it. So you have done with me after I paint this on. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll get up and I'll show you because I have to lay this out to dry. Okay, so that's that. Put this little peel on, on the ledge to dry. Then put this up. And then I'm going to get show you what I did, and then I'll go get the what I've been doing. Get this off. Get this off. And I'll show you what, what else I did today. I haven't finished her, but I just didn't feel like. Then I was looking at the other face and I was saying, hey, you know what, I could do a little bit more to it because I didn't realize the mod part is right. Let me tell you what I did. I sent for a um eBay. I bought a dryer because I was trying to see if I could find a hair dryer and now is not the time I guess or whatever. But I was trying to see if I could find a hair dryer and I couldn't find one. And so I bought a dryer and didn't look until I because and then you know I tried to find the one that was cheapest that I could afford and I found one for eight dollars and I was like thrilled with that. And then I realized after I after I spent in the money and everything on eBay that it was coming from China. So I won't get it for about two weeks. But that's okay. Because I've been without a dryer. Now watch I'll go to Goodwill or something and find a dryer. That that's kind of to me anyway. I'm putting up the paper before. So, 
Anyway, so I'll show you some things. So I started with her. Isn't she cute? She's got her little braids. I've got to put a ribbon in her hair and um a few more things and some buttons on her, and then I'll be finished with her. I didn't feel like going and getting the buttons. And then I'll get the other book. So this is the first one that I did. That's the inside. That's the outside. So, and I haven't actually finished that. I just thought about that. I haven't finished that. So I'll finish that. But that's the first one that I did. So I don't think. I think that this will stay with me because this will be the first one that I did and I haven't finished it. I, I, did, I forgot that I didn't do this, so I'll do that, but that's the first one that I did. So anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment in the comment section and I will see you all later. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.